Hello everyone, it's me, Mrs. Groner, and today is part three of our paper ant colony lesson. Let's take a look at what we're going to be adding to these awesome ant colonies today. Today, we are going to be adding the ants. What do you need for this part of the lesson? Well, you'll need a piece of paper, some scissors, colors, and glue. Now, the first thing I want to do before we do anything else is take a look at the different types of ants that live in an ant colony. So we're going to look at the book, Look Inside an Ant Colony. Okay, and here they are. Some ants are workers. Some ants are soldiers. Oh, look at the soldier. Notice that the soldier has sharp mandibles, yeah, to fight away the other things that might threaten ants in the colony. Then we have drones, and remember drones have wings so they can go out and find new colonies. And then we have the one ant that's the queen. She is the biggest ant. Okay, so remember we have workers, which are most of the ants in the colony, soldiers who have sharp mandibles to fight away enemies, drones with wings, and the queen. So cool. Okay, so the first thing I want us to do is work on drawing those ants. And you're going to want a lot of ants to go inside your ant colony. So if you notice, I started drawing ants here and I drew a whole bunch of worker ants on my page. Can you tell who these ants are? That's right. Those ants are the soldiers or the guards. They have the sharp mandibles. Notice I drew a few drones and do you see which ant is the queen? Of course, she's the biggest one. This is the queen. Now, I'm going to take some time to show you exactly how I drew the ants on my page. Ants are really simple to draw. And that makes it nice because for this activity, you want to draw a lot of ants. So we're gonna start with the work. When I draw the worker ant, I just draw three circles. So here's one circle two circles, three circles right there. Now, if you remember, the legs are on the thorax. So I want to add my legs. And because my ants are sideways, I'm only going to draw three, even though I know ants have six. And then I'm going to make two little antenna on top. See how easy that is? Now, to make the guards or the soldiers, I drew the ant the same way. So I did the three, body parts, one, two, three. But this time I added the long mandibles coming out. So they look fierce, just like that. Just two little lines, see how I did that? And then the antenna and the three legs that are showing because they have six legs, but only one side shows. For the drones, I did the same thing. Three body parts, one, two, three. But this time I added two wings to the thorax. Here's the legs that you can see and the antenna. And for the queen, you can tell I made her in the same way, but I made her abdomen a lot bigger. And she's bigger all over, but her abdomen is especially bigger because I wanted her to look more like a queen. Now, once you've drawn a lot of ants on your page and you have all the different kinds of ants, you're gonna take these ants and cut them out. Then you'll glue them to your ant colony. Make sure to add some guards to the top guarding the nest. Workers go all over the ant colony in all the different rooms. Make sure you give the queen a special room and the drones were probably going to be flying away. Maybe they'll be hanging off the edge. 
I'm going to go ahead and add my ants to my ant colony. And then I'll show you what it looks like with all of the ants inside. Okay, now I have all of my ants inside the ant colony. Look at that busy ant colony. There are ants taking out the garbage. There are ants resting in the bedroom. Ants taking care of the pupa. Ants taking care of the eggs. Ants digging a new room. The guards waiting to protect the nest. Ants carrying food. Here are the drones ready to fly away. Here are the guards. Wow, that's a busy ant colony. I can't wait to see your busy ant colony. I hope you're having a lot of fun making your own ant colony. And I hope to see you again very soon.